day, I'm Sharon Evans. And I'm Dean Goldberg. We are fourth year electrical engineering students at Fitz University, and we have developed an automated Arduino program tester. We have made use of two Arduinos, wiring and some circuitry to produce an easy to use product that a lecturer can use to mark assembler code. During the second year of our degree, we do a course to learn how to program microprocessors using Arduino Unos in assembler language. The labs and projects that the students do to learn these skills require physical components to be connected to the Arduino boards. To mark these labs, multiple demonstrators take many hours to mark both the student's code and their supporting circuit. The product we have designed removes the need for this long marking process by allowing the lecturer to mark the student's code remotely. Our product uses an additional Arduino to simulate the physical connections that would be connected to the student's Arduino, as well as reading in and marking the outputs. The component functionality has been emulated through writing a library written in Python code. We have utilized Python Mato, which is a Python library package, which allows the Python script to communicate with the Arduino through serial communication and therefore control the activity on that Arduino. The device has been laid out in a convenient manner with the lecturer Arduino, the circuitry required, and the student Arduino. The board has also been labeled accordingly. Through software, we have modeled a push button, a potentiometer, an LM35 temperature sensor, and an ultrasonic sensor. The ultrasonic sensor makes use of four any triple five timers through a multiplexer to select different distances. All of these functions have been compiled into a Python library that the lecturer can utilize to test the student's code. Here is an example of a marking script that a lecturer would use. This is marking an ultrasonic sensor code. As you can see here is an expect function that is looking for a four bit value on a port. There are other expect functions, including an expect digital function and an expect analog function, where the lecturer can choose if they are expecting a PWM signal, a temperature, or a voltage. Every time an expect function is called, the actual value read in from that pin is compared against what was expected. The program keeps track of all the tasks the student successfully and unsuccessfully completed during the marking of the lab or the project. A personalized text file records the actual result compared to the expected result. As you can see from the sample text file, if the actual result recorded is within a threshold of the expected result, it is marked as correct. The tasks successfully completed by the student are tallied and a corresponding percentage is calculated. This along with the student's student number are appended to a CSV file. A batch script has been provided that enables the lecturer to mark an entire class's worth of student code using one command line prompt. This batch script has enabled us to achieve full automation of the marking process. And there you have it, our automated Arduino program tester. We have thoroughly enjoyed the process and we have learned a lot. Many thanks to the School of EIE at Fitz University, in particular our supervisor, Professor Scott Hazelhurst, as well as Mike and Tao in the workshop.